Neighborhood Health Watch is sponsored by the doctors of HCA Virginia Health System. The topic today in Neighborhood Health Watch is kidney stones. Passing kidney stones can be excruciating. The good news though, kidney stones usually don't cause any permanent damage if they're discovered in a timely fashion. In some cases, you can pass a kidney stone by taking pain medication and drinking lots of water. Urologist Dr. Michael Byrne is with Retreat Doctors Hospital and he's here to get us informed. Thank you so much for joining us again on First at Four. Yeah, thanks again. Thanks for having me. Let's start out with some of the scenarios that might require surgery. Sure. So uh, there's a bunch. I mean, one would be uh, a fever. Those certainly changes the ballgame. Then it becomes a whole lot more serious. Agonizing pain. Uh, if the stone is simply too big, anything bigger than five millimeters or about an eighth of an inch or sort of sixth of an inch. Mm -hmm. You know, kidney stones, we know, is no laughing matter having that condition. But you've learned some interesting things um, about kidney stones. Uh, and one that comes to mind is today's weather. It's 90 degrees outdoors. And this, talk about how that relates to kidney stones. Sure, sure. There was a recent study that shows that on days that are 10 degrees hotter, so today is the perfect example, we're more likely to pass kidney stones, not form them. We don't exactly know when we make stones, but today would be a day that they would be on the move. Mm -hmm. So um, emergency rooms and offices uh, will be busier today. So yeah, this is to the start of sort of stone season, although you can pass them any time of the year. And where does Virginia rank? in I, terms of kidney stones? I don't know. We certainly are in the stone belt. Now, where we rank, mm -hmm. uh, we are more prevalent in terms of kidney stones here in Virginia. That so. is amazing. And talk about some of the risk factors uh, that, that make a person more prone to have kidney stones. Sure. Uh, family history, not drinking enough water or keeping up with water. So if you work outside, mm -hmm. um, another issue would be some chronic diseases like diabetes. There's medications that cause it. Uh, too much vitamin C, things like that. There was a great big study that showed even vitamin C can cause kidney stones. And Retreat Doctors Hospital has uh, a kidney stone hotline. The number is 560-STONE or 560-7866. What are some of the questions that could be answered if a person calls that line? Sure. I mean, how much pain are you in? Have you ever had a kidney stone before? And can we see you in a timely fashion? Can mm -hmm. we get you out of pain or at least assess is this a stone that'll pass or is this a stone that may require treatment, surgical treatment to sort of relieve you of your troubles? And how do you diagnose this? So x-rays, CAT scans, and ultrasound. So mm -hmm. we sort of rely on uh, medical imaging to make the decision. All right, Dr. Byrne, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll see you again. Sure. Thanks again. All right.